Welcome back. <coughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and hermaphrodites. Yeah, we are getting some distance from the previous episode. And I'm soon going to reach level 10, so... Let's see what happens here. Some scoundrels trying to rape that poor little girl, and we're obviously going to save her because we are heroic champions, which means we have to kill 10 people in order to save one person. Really good trade there, really nice. So let's just smash that guy up with our machine gun. Wait for him to lie there, threaten our lives with a thieves skill that don't even, ex don't even exist. And level 10! And level 10 hardcore achievement. Amazing! Let's see what skill we got. We didn't give a single skill, just a passive skill. Well, that's amazing. Well. Whenever you use all the weapon games, yes. you gain shift moves in two seconds. Every chance you get an expert attack on moves, such as targets for two seconds. Well, Wait. boring. But I will pick that one because it was the least boring one. But they were both really, really boring. I'm actually kind of disappointed with it's Demon Hunter fine. this far. Do I, look like the kind to you? I mean, you do need some defensive skills, but I think they have focused too much on defensive skills. I mean, if you look at my skills over here, we have defensive skill, defensive skill, Defensive skill, defensive skill, defensive skill, defensive, 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 and uh, me being the aggressive person I am, I find that kind of boring. I don't think I should complain really, because those defensive skills might save my life one day, but However, defensive skills are always more boring than aggressive skills. And uh, I would like to have at least one aggressive skill down here. I don't know why they only give me defensive right now. Maybe so that you can survive in the beginning. I hope they're going to give me something funny at least soon enough. Because right now I'm starting to get a little bored with this cla class. I would much more prefer the Barbarian class, as I see it now. The only <coughs> real fun I'm having is with my Machine Gun Spree Mayhem, which I'm using frequently, as often as I can, like... <laughs> like that. But you can't live off one skill only, because that will be very... I don't, can't find a word for it, but... Uh, unfunny. Let's just call it unfunny. But that word for doing things over and over again that, that I can can't remember right now. And, uh, well... In this quest we're going to retrieve the bacon of honor. I love bacon, so this might be a good quest for me, I suppose. And <clears throat> if my voice sounds tired today, or dark, or whispery, or anything like that, it's because I have had a huge cold even since I got back from USA, there was this teenage girl in front of me that was coughing right out like the <coughs> right out 
without covering her mouth one bit right out into the plane constantly for eight hours and uh, <laughs> all man I couldn't believe how disrespectful that person was I mean it was it was hard for me to watch actually uh, first of all as soon as the flight or I mean even almost even before the plane had taken off she just rammed her seat back as much as possible so that I barely had any space at all uh, she put her legs up on the front the seat in front of her which caused her to push her seat in front of me back even further which gave, gave me even less space and uh, she obviously had some sort of cold because, as I said, she was coughing and coughing and coughing. That made me get just a little bit of hope that she might just faint from the coughing and that would <coughs> give me a break from her. But she didn't and uh, she just kept coughing and when the stewards and stewardess came out with our lunch, she had somehow fucking falling asleep and uh, when they bring out the food you're supposed to put up your seat but as she was sleeping the steward is didn't want to wake her and <clears throat> instead she told her friend to which who sat to my to her right to wake her up when she, or tell her to Heighten the seat up when she woke up. But, uh, yeah. But her friend didn't wake her up. And I really couldn't understand how she could let her sleep. I mean, she had her food right in front of her. It was getting cold and she just slept there. And her friend sitting right next to her won't wake her up. I mean... She must have been pretty retarded herself. And uh, I sat there the entire lunch trying to use my 10 inch room to grab, eat something. Uh, I barely could because I had no space at all, as I said. I mean, I could barely move or more, even less eat. Uh, and when I was. Exactly the point when I was done with my meal, of course, the bastard wakes up and <laughs> Yeah, she pulls up her stupid seat and proceeds to eat her lunch, which I hope was Very 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 cold. I hope it had gone so cold. She could barely eat it and uh, I'm sorry for saying this I'm almost always a nice person I you could barely say I'm all always a nice person but people like that they just annoy the freaking shit out of me you know those people who you just know don't give a shit about how other people feel or how other people yeah other people's feelings they just think about themselves uh, I can't stand those people I'm sorry, I can't. I really just can't. And uh, yeah, as you can figure out, when I got home, I got a sore throat, and it just keeps getting worse. I'm getting nauseous. I'm getting tired. I can't sleep from the jet lag, which makes it even worse. I can barely breathe because my nose is completely knocked out, and. Yeah, I have a lot right when I get home. I have like tons of work. Uh, I have night shifts on my job, which I barely survive. And my throat just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And right when it's at its peak, I <laughs> have a job at a moving company on the fourth floor. Uh, and I'm like feverish, I'm sweating cold and uh, I just feel like I'm going to faint. So after two hours the 
Vast just tells me, I mean, go home, you you can't do this, it's impossible. It was the worst kind of stairs I have ever experienced. And uh, yeah, I just went home and just crashed in the sofa.